Hi, my name is Raja Rodriguez. I am a 3D generalist based on the Philippines. I create scenic design pre-visualizations for theater plays. I used to be a production designer in the events industry, but ever since the pandemic happened, everything shifted from physical to digital. So from creating trade show booths, I've then created full-on 3D environments that are mainly used for green screen productions, conference calls, and curatorial purposes. The thing that I like the most with Twin Motion is its intuitive nature. I would say that it is the least intimidating and anyone who uses it on their first try could create something good out of it. From the moment that I've discovered Twin Motion, I've been doing every interior scene with it. The second thing I like the most with Twin Motion is its real-time rendering feature. It comes handy when you're doing live presentations and consultations with your clients. You can do on-the-spot revisions. My workflow usually starts with a sketch that is given by the lead scenic designer. And from then on, I would create the layout on SketchUp. After confirming the layout, we'll do the detailing, and the texturing, and the lighting on Twin Motion. The scenic designer decided to make use of the lights and shadow to create more depth and texture with the set design. With the use of Twin Motion, we were able to simulate the shadow projections. We were able to identify the dead spots and points that are needed to be lightened. Most of the type of scenic projects I've handled by far are grounded on realism, while there are those that are more artistically interpreted and comes one of the most crucial elements on scenic design, which is the use of lighting. It sets the mood accordingly per scene, and I think Twin Mountain is perfect for the job. Another crucial element are the textures, because it allows the set to speak for itself without the use of lighting. Twin Motion, given its vast materials library and pixel mega scans, we are able to create more character on the designs that we are making. As a designer of our craft, I think it's important for us to be involved in not just with the design work, but knowing the basics of the actual production will allow you to be more versatile with your designs conceptually and technically.